Now, we will begin the demonstration of the cloud native application platform, Cocktail Cloud. On the initial screen after the login, you can see the number of services, number of servers, and the current month's cloud expenses of the operations being managed. Server status will show the number of servers that are being used as infra and are arranged according to cloud service providers such as Google, Amazon, Azure, bare metal, or a private cloud platform. The monthly and daily cost trend shows the selected year's monthly costs in a form of a graph. You can also check the daily cost trend of the selected month. Now, we will move on to the service menu. In Cocktail Cloud, the workspace is allocated to each team such as the application development team or the operation team. Each team can work on the build or deploy operation of the application. On the right side of the bar, which has the service's name, shows the number of cluster and the type of cloud infra that is allocated for the service. You can manage the deployment environment depending on the application's use on the bottom of the bar. For example, by dividing the development, test, and production stages, you can use the environment as the product's development or deployment environment. Each block is called an application map. When you click on the application map, you will see the component of the selected map's application. Application map is composed of servers that comprise the applications. For convenient management, these servers can be grouped into the web, the WAS, and the DB logically. You can check the status of each server, number of instances, resource usage, and the information of the container image. If it is a web server, you can move right away to the web page the corresponding server is providing. Once you click Monitoring on the application map's upper right corner, you can view each application server's resource usage and trend. Moving on to the Catalog menu. On the Catalog, you can configure and manage the application composition as a template. We will deploy an application on a service group. The prepared application is an online shopping mall composed of microservices. Here, we will find the online shopping mall application template and click on the Deploy button. The online shopping mall is composed of 13 servers. After inputting the application map and cluster information, we will click on the Deploy button. On the application map, you can see that each server of the online shopping mall is starting and running in order. Once you click the Deploy menu on the upper right side, you can see it starting based on the sequence of the servers deployed. After all the servers start, it takes about 2 minutes to externally access the web server. This is the time it takes for the load balancer to be prepared on the AWS. Once all the servers start, you can check that the shopping mall website is up and running by clicking on the front end server's IP. This time, we will explain the process of building, deploying, and operating procedures using an actual development source. First, we will automate the source build and container image build by connecting to the development source registry. We will select the build management on the right side of the service menu bar. Using the additional build button, you can add a new build job. You can establish the source repository information, how to build a source, how to build a container image, and which registry you will store the image in. Select the Build Run on the right side of the menu. A pop-up screen will show up and illustrate the build process. On the pop-up screen, you can check the build log in different stages, such as the source download, source build, and create image. Once the build is completed, image name and version information will be automatically be updated on the build. The build container image will be stored on the designated image registry. You can check the build management history on the right side of the menu. You can see the execution time, 
and the build number created through the management per each build job. We will deploy the container image that has been made through the build management previously. We will create a server in the development stage application map. Type the name of the server to be created in Alphabet. Because it will be used in the internal DNS, make sure the name is not duplicated. Configure the version, type, and the number of instances. You can configure the service update policy by using either the rolling update or recreate. You can designate the volume storage the server will be using. Select the container image that will be used on the server. The image built previously will be selected from the registry. You can designate the build number as well. For the selected image, the CPU and memory capacity to be used can be allocated. Designate the port so that it can be accessed externally and by the end user. Designate the port type and port number that is supported by the cluster being used. You can configure the command, environment variable, volume mount, security information, and health check the container needs in order to start and operate. Click on the Create button on the upper right side. You can see that a server has been generated on the application map. Once you click the Instance Log on the upper right side menu of the server, you can check the application log of the server that has started. To check that the server is running properly, click on the IP that is indicated on the server. You can see that the web page is being shown on the new web browser screen. Lastly, we will save the application configuration deployed on the development stage and deploy it as production stage application map. First, we will select the deploy menu on the upper right and click on the Save as Catalog button. After inputting the template's name, version, and summary information, click Save. You can find the Save template on the Catalog menu. We will select the Deploy button on the lower left side of the template. Designate the application map that will be deployed. We will deploy the application on the production stage application map. The server saved on the template will be deployed on the new application map. You can see that in production stage, the same application as development stage has been deployed. When you use catalog, you can quickly deploy and withdraw the application on the desired cluster with minimum effort. And now, we will end the brief introduction of Cocktail Cloud's features. Thank you for listening until the very end.